Hey guys, what's up? It's DSUD19 bringing you an application tutorial. I'm going to be taking a look at the application pages, um, which is created by Apple. This application is a word processing similar to its desktop counterpart, which is available on Macintosh. Um, it's similar to Word or other processing um, programs. So let's go into the App Store just to show you um, it when you purchase it. So it is $10, it's rather expensive, but it does um, have universal support for both the iPad and the iPhone or iPod. But here's the warning when you do purchase it, if you're um, using it primarily for an iPad or iPod. Um, you're only able to use it um, in a single orientation, which means that you can only type like this. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, I apologize if you can't. You can only um, type in one um, orientation. You're unable to type like this, which is a whole lot easier if you're using an iPad or iPod. I mean, iPhone or iPod. So, it's $10. I would strongly suggest buying it. But if you have an iPhone or iPod, for those reasons, I would not purchase it until they fix that. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually open up the application here. And we can see um, it does allow for folders. I divide um, all my documents up into um, subjects, essays, um, whatever you want to, basically. So let's create a new document. I um, just demonstrate the program. So as you can see, typing just, you know, <laughs> what you expect. Um, plenty of fonts. You can actually edit these fonts. So let's say I want Optima, but I want it extra black. You can kind of personalize the fonts beyond just having a personalized font. Um, you're able to bold, indent, everything that you would expect from any um, word processing application. Um, there's indenting. Um, we'll get to margins later, but you can mess around with that too. You can see. Um, it's showing you how to move the margins on there, but it's easier somewhere else. So you can see on, t let's go into layout here. There's different line spacings. Um, most essays, you need two, um, two line spacing, double spaced. Um, so that allows you to do that there, as you would expect from any word processing application. Um, it allows you to add bullets, letters, numbers, anything like that in order to list different things and different styles that you can add to your paragraph. So it's that pretty much, um, that's pretty much the basics of this application. So let's move on to media. Well, let's start. You can add photos from your camera roll. Um, I personally like this feature because you can go into Google, save images, and then use them in your document. So that's very useful. Now tables, as you can see, there's um, these are all the same tables. There's four different types of tables, but they're all different colors, so you can personalize it to your document. So let's just go ahead and select one just to show you um, it. And you can add um, cells. You can edit the cells. Pretty basic, but I'd say very useful. So let's go on to charts. Now this is a unique feature, I'd say, for a mobile word processing application. Um, there's a lot of processing, uh, word processing applications available for the iPad, but I think this is what makes it stand out, is just this feature here. And there's a lot of other things too. So you're able to edit the data within this chart. Oops, I messed up. There we go. Um, so let's do pages, hold on, um, pages, and word, okay, then you can just change everything here, so we'll go 15 for pages, 10 for word, um, 15, 10, almost done, I'm just trying to, um, change it just to show you how the chart will change, of course it will, but just to demonstrate. And there we go, it changes. You can change different colors to again fit to your document, whatever colors you're using it. And that's pretty much the basics of that. Excellent feature. I really enjoy that. 
shapes. Um, you can use that in any way you want. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure there's some projects that entitle those shapes. And they have them, different, li different line segments, everything like that. Um, plenty of colors, which is good, um, again, to fit your document. So that seems to be all of the media. We will move on to tools. This is a great feature, um, is the great feature, I think, overall about this application is how many outlets there is to share and print your document. So the simplest, of course, is just emailing your document. There's three formats, pages, PDF, and Word. Word, obviously referring to Microsoft Word. Um, pages, desktop, and PDF is, um, I'm not sure what it stands for, but it's referring to photos. So out of all three of these, when you're emailing it, I would always go with the PDF, because for some reason the mail carrier services does not read the pages or the Word properly when it's transferring the data. So always go with the PDF. From there, um, what I used to do is open the uh, open the PDF in my mail, and then use an application. I think I used HP PhotoSmart to then print the application. I mean, print the document, um, and it's very good. But now we'll move on to the next feature, and that's the ability to air print. If you have an air print enabled printer, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically just an Apple integrated printer that allows you to print wirelessly off of all iOS, well not all, but newer iOS devices. Um, for instance, you can print Safari web pages and a lot of other things. This isn't um, just it, there's a lot of things. So I don't have my printer hooked up right now, but if it was, I could just select it, go back and print, and I could wirelessly print this document, which is great if you have a um, air print printer. You can also share it via iWork, send it to iTunes, iDisk, etc. There's a lot of outlets to share this document, which is great. So document setup, this is good for essays. Um, I use this um, portion a lot because most essays need one inch margins. You're able to edit that in easily. Um, here's another warning with this application if you're seriously considering it, um, using this for everyday word processing. The problem is that I've run into when you're um, entering an essay, now this is kind of um, not, this is pretty specific, but when you're entering an essay usually um, you need to enter in your last name and then the page number, so my last name and then one, and then on the next one it would be last name and then two. But on most desktop versions it there's um, something that you can enter in that'll just keep doing that for you. But for this, it is very difficult to get that to work. And I had to mess around for, with it for quite a while. So there's a warning if you really need it for essays. Um, so that's pretty much for document setup. You can see in the settings, you can turn on spelling, word count, and a lot of other things. But here's another warning. It's my third one. That... Um, there's no grammatical um, corrections that Apple has integrated into this app, so um, gotta watch out for that. Make sure to go over your work. So there we have it for the application. As you can see, there's a lot of features, not as much as, let's say, a desktop version, but still excellent for a mobile platform. So let's create another document, and this time we're going to be going off of what Apple has given us. So as you can see, when you buy the application, it comes with all of these other, basically, um, they're basically showing you how to do it. So let's see, let's go to poster. And what you do, well, obviously, I don't go to Lorem High School, so you edit in what you want to say, edit in a picture, it just sets it up nicely so you're able to edit in everything that you want without doing a lot of work. So that's a nice feature. And the final thing that I wanted to talk about is iCloud integration into this application. So Apple integrated iCloud into it. So basically, let's say I open up this application, I make a change to it, but I leave my iPad at home and I still want to work on it, but I have my iPod. So basically what I do is um, I open pages up on my iPod and this document will be right there with all the changes. 
and you can basically keep going back and forth with those changes, syncing it over the cloud. So if I make more changes on the iPod while I'm away, when I come back home, the, um, those say changes will be synced back onto the iPad. So it's just syncing with each other, that way you're always um, refreshed and have the newest version that you're working on, whether it's your iPod, o iPhone, whatever. Um, so that's pretty much it with the iCloud integration. I absolutely love this app. Um, there's a couple warnings and I mentioned those in the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video and like to see more like it, um, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. This has been DSudi19. Um, Have a nice day.